my name is Ashley and welcome to my watercolor YouTube channel. I'm a self-taught artist and I would love to help you learn all the tips and tricks that I have gained over the years through experience. So I hope that you enjoy these videos. I hope that they're helpful to you. If they are, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for stopping by and enjoy watching. Hi everybody, today I wanted to show you a very simple watercolor wash. Now, if you do not know what that means, that is A-OK -okay because we are going to learn. So, first of all, something that I like to do when I am doing a painting that has a lot of water on it, sometimes um, that can mean that the painting, the paper, can move back and forth quite a bit and it can get kind of overrun and morph the paper a bit. So what I like to do, first of all, is to tape my paper down so that we don't have any overflow or anything crazy going on. So, this is washi tape, it's Japanese paper tape. Um, I get it all sorts of different places. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at office supply stores, you can get it um, even at thrift stores sometimes. <laughs> I found it at lots of different places, so I just put that around the edges. Um, and then let's do just like a simple, maybe a sunset we'll do today. So for that I have these watercolors I told you about before. These are the Prima Marketing, I'm using the Tropicals. Um, I've taken some of them out, so there's some different colors here. So for this one, I'm going to use the yellow, um, the orange, and the pink, let's say. All right. And then maybe we'll do some water at the bottom so you can have like a little sunset scene. So first of all, um, I'm going to start with one color here. And in order to make sure that it covers the whole page, I don't want it to be dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water on there, right? Okay, just a little bit all the way down so that it spreads a little evenly. And you'll see it's not very much water. Oh, there must have been a little paint in my brush there. It's not very much water. It's very, very thin coat. So first of all, but this will look really cool. So first of all, I'm going to start with, let's start with the pink. So I'm going to get some pink on my brush here. Start this on the top. Okay. Maybe you want it a little bit darker on the top and it's going to kind of fade out. So when you have the most on your brush, it'll be the darkest. And then it kind of fades out. Gets a little bit lighter as we go down. Okay, and then I'm going to do some orange. So this is really simple. You just Same thing. More, more water um, on the paper than on the brush at this point. And I'm just going to overlap a little bit. Okay, just a little bit of overlap. Okay, you can do as much as you want. You can play with it. Okay, so those will kind of bleed together a little bit. And then we'll do some yellow. We're getting lighter and lighter, right? A little bit of yellow. We'll kind of blend that a little bit and see how it's kind of mixing in the middles there. Okay. And then, oh, I missed a little bit of orange on the corner. Whoopsie. Okay. So, let's see. Blend that a little bit. All right, so you can see that there's a little bit harder of a line between the pink and the orange. So what I just did there is just put a little bit of water on my brush and just move that right into the middle. And then those will mix a little bit better. You can do that there too on the those parts that are a little bit more harsh lines. We don't want that. We want it to blend really nicely. Okay, so while that is drying, there, we'll just make this a little beach scene. Okay, so let's do some blue for the water, and I've let the yellow mostly dry so that we don't get a lot of bleeding there because blue and yellow would be green and that would not be pretty, that is not in a sunset. Okay, and then there's a little bit of brown with a lot of water in it to lighten it up. So the way that you lighten up watercolors, you can't put white in it necessarily, but you can put water in it and that lightens it. Okay, so I just want like a little beige. And I've let the blue mostly dry so the bleeding there won't be too much. But I can put a little bit more in there, that would be good. So the blue and the brown aren't coming together too much, just a little bit, just to make it look like a little beach scene. Not too much, okay. And then maybe, got a little brown here. This is gonna dry a little bit more, okay. We'll just let that dry a little bit. And if you wanna speed that up, and if you're not worried about taking the pigment off, something you can do is just use a little paper towel. So I just dotted that up. I'm gonna dry that a little bit so I can put some mountains in here so this doesn't end up being like a half hour video. Okay, so we're just gonna do a little line for the mountains, maybe like that. Just some soft ones. Okay, I 
there's some soft little peaks there. Okay, that'll bleed a little bit into the blue because it wasn't 100% dry, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll do the sun, just like a little sunset here. And one thing, I don't want the yellow and the brown blending at all. So I'm doing very, very tiny line of separation between those two. You might not be able to see it super well, but there's a little space between the two to make sure that they do not blend together. Okay. And then you could, I mean, we'll see. We'll just have fun with this. We'll just make this like a little, a little sunset with little, little sunbeams. Okay. And those will bleed in too, so they won't be so harsh. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, there we go. So, right there we just have a very, very simple, you can add clouds if you would like. You can add more things on the bottom. You could add some little beach umbrellas. You could add flowers. But yeah, basically this is a really simple project that you can do a lot of things with, can be good for a lot of different ages, and doesn't require very many supplies at all. So when you watch this and create your own art, please post it on Instagram and tag me at Ashley Chase Creates. I would love to see what you're making. And if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that I can make lots more fun videos like this. Thank you so much for watching.